Well, turning to Addison County, Vermont now, where it lies one of the most quaint and historic towns in the state, Middlebury. That's right, it's home to Middlebury College, central to thousands of neighbors with a deep love for their community, and it's a great place for visitors to experience the crafts and history that make Vermont so special. Sitting in Middlebury's Town Hall Theater, artistic director Doug Anderson could only dream of this building being what it is today. I think the town just realized that this is not the kind of building you throw away. Built in 1883, the theater is one of Middlebury's most historic buildings. But by 1997, the theater was in rough shape. Everything from the roof to the foundation needed repairs. And with Doug at the helm, this community rallied together to save it. It took us 10 years and it took us $5 million. But uh, as you look around, we've restored it beautifully. Now the theater hosts over 160 events a year from plays, musicals, film festivals, and even the high school prom. I like to say a town needs a big room, and we are that big room for Middlebury. From one big room to another. This is ceramic. Employees here at the Danforth Pewter Workshop are busy making jewelry, holiday ornaments, oil lamps, and more, all by hand. CEO Bram Kleppner will tell you it's a process. It then goes out these channels from molding. Everyone's looking at every tiny little part of every piece. To casting and spinning. One at a time on a hundred year old lathe. Each step takes detail and precision to get to the final product, the shelves. It's exactly what the founders intended 50 years ago when it all began, real Vermont made products. Like many Vermont companies, it was founded with social values at its very core. This is a company that has always cared about the community. A short drive away, solar panels greet you at the Appalachian Gap Distillery. The social value here, sustainability. In fact, it's the first distillery in the nation to be carbon neutral. We'd like to lead by example and demonstrate that, you know, you can operate in a way that's, you know, in harmony with the earth. Their environmental commitment is part of what drew Will Drucker here, as he shows us their process of grinding local grain, distilling, and then barrel aging it. All of this done in the most sustainable way possible. It makes us sleep better at night because, you know, we're minimizing the harm we do to the planet. From historic buildings to ethically owned businesses, Middlebury cultivating a real home for those in this town and a unique destination for those looking to make lasting memories. And be sure to watch This Is Our Home next week when Ben Fershad checks out Crafts Ferry. And hey, if you live in a special part of our region and you think we should highlight it, just send us an email. The address is ourhome at mynbc5.com.